Hey, Rick, how you doing? I'm good, Jenny. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited for this week's Must Love Travel Chat. Man, I am so glad to be here. Um, what are we chatting about this week? You got something special lined up? I do. I do. So as you recall, there is a private island in the Bahamas owned by Royal Caribbean Cruise Line called Perfect Day at Perfect. Coco Cay day wow and it is a perfect day right we we've both been there Truly. It is a yep. perfect day so we have joanne who's our representative with royal caribbean cruise lines and she's yep. going to take us on a tour of that island oh she's awesome they're gonna love this yeah let's check it out So I am here with Joanne from Royal Caribbean, and I am so excited to talk to you today. Uh, Jeannie, thank you for having me here today. I am excited to be here too, and I'm really excited to be talking about the subject today that we've selected. Um, you know, Royal Caribbean has over 300 destinations. We cover six continents and 70 different countries, but this destination is so unique to Royal Caribbean. It's exclusive to Royal Caribbean. And we're gonna be talking today about perfect day at Coco Cay. And what's your perfect day at Coco Cay? Oh, I've heard you've well, been before. I have had the pleasure. I've been twice and it was on the same cruise, uh, but we got like a double dip. Um, and I spent both days in the same place, the <laughs> pool. The pool, Beautiful. the pool is amazing. It's it really does feel like you're in some sort of lagoon and it's different on this side than that side. And um, it's relaxing over there, exciting over there. There's music and I couldn't get enough of the pool. That was, that was my perfect spot at my, and that, during my perfect day. <laughs> I have to say, I, ex I experienced the same on my visit to perfect day. I spent a lot of time at the Oasis Lagoon, which is really what we consider the chill part of the island, but there are actually two distinct experiences to Perfect Day mm -hmm. Coco Cay. And I like yes. to break it up into those two different experiences, one being the thrill mm -hmm. and one being the chill. Yeah. yeah. But let's just back up a minute. Before you even get to Perfect Day, we're going to arrive at one of our incredible ships. But what's also new to Perfect Day is a brand new pier that we just built just for um, arriving and docking at perfect day. So it's very easy now. You just step off the ship. It's a short distance to walk to the entrance of perfect day. But if you want to take the shuttle, we have shuttle service available as well. That picks you up right there as you get off the gangway. And it'll take you either around the island or to the entrance of perfect day. Yeah. So, so you I actually... experienced the chill. I did, but I, I will tell you, I did jump on one of those shuttles and gave myself a little tour that way because I wanted to see all of the beaches and the different areas. Um, so the shuttle is actually fun just to ride. <laughs> it it is, it and there, there are pavers around the entire island now. So you can either stroll and explore the island yourself or take that shuttle service that does run. It's like on an every 15 minute type of a rotation or schedule. Mm -hmm that you can yeah. just jump on and explore the island and see all there is to see. But should we talk about the thrill side yes. of the island? Okay, because yeah. I like to break yeah. it up into two different yeah. types of experiences. So you've got the thrill and the chill. So the thrill would be what would include the water park. Uh, it would also include our helium balloon, which is our up, up and away balloon that rises 450 feet above. Um, it's an amazing view from up above when you see looking down over the, the landscape of the island, you can see the whole layout. You can see the beautiful crystal water below. When I took the up, up and away, I could see the dolphin swimming, the sea turtles. It was stingrays were swimming below. It's just an incredible view. And the experience of the up, up and away runs about a 15 to 20 minute experience. And uh, like I said, you go 450 feet up into the sky is absolutely a must That's uh, on your so next trip. Cool. Yes, I actually wanted to do it, but it was right after hurricane had come through. So it was not quite ready to go back up the weekend that I was there or the week that I was there. I was a little bummed to have missed that. So I'll have to go back. 
a good and, reason uh, to go back for sure. Yeah, yeah. indeed. So um, we also have a zip line that has three separate runs. And I always giggle because there is a choice at the last string to get a wet experience or a dry experience. <laughs> and if you see the, the photo of uh, the harbor, Harbor Bay, there's a fountain in the middle. So the last string um, of the run will take you right over the fountain and they time it just right so that that fountain is hitting that zipper <laughs> as you're going over the class. So That's um, it's, it's a great choice to, to know if you, know, if you will choose whether you want the, the wet or the dry. Um, right. experience of the zip line but the water park itself um it, it like any other water park there is an emission um the price runs from anywhere starting at fifty dollars per person up depending on the seasonality and you know capacity control that type of thing but it is i spent the half day there myself just doing every single water slide and activity that was included at the water park so the water park is made up of two slide structures and if you look at the photos and you see that really tall slide that is that structure is called daredevil's peak and that is 135 feet high it's classified as the tallest water slide in north america oh my um, i think it's made up of seven or eight different slides but those will either make you giggle or scream there's one <laughs> in there that the bottom drops out from under your feet and you are screaming the whole way down. <laughs> I only did that one once, <laughs> but um, it's it's really it's it's great for for all of the, the experiences. There's also another structure that's called the slingshot. That's this second water slide structure. That was my favorite. It takes four um, one of the, the the rides. It takes up to four mm -hmm. folks in a raft. So as you're going in and out of these chutes and these tunnels, you are really giggling because you're dropping and, and going in, you know, and around, but then you are dropping at zero gravity, 60 feet high, and you will love it. So next time you go, you've got to promise me you will do, try this. I shot. will. I will. I will definitely. Um, all of my, I was actually there with um, a bunch of my colleagues and we all just had the best time and everyone who went over and did the water park came back just loving it and I thought okay I, I have to promise myself I'll do it next time a reason <laughs> to go back for sure yeah, yeah exactly. I went down that slide seven times that day I just had <laughs> so much great. fun yeah oh, amazing awesome. so we also have a obstacle pool the adventure pool that's there and it's really fun for folks of all ages and there's a wave pool as well and it runs like every 10 minutes so You'll have 10 minutes of waves and 10 minutes of rest. So lots to do um, over in the water park area for the thrill seekers, for sure. So now let's jump over to the chill side. And this was the side that you had explored. And, and when you were talking about the Oasis Lagoon, I too found that to be my favorite for the day. There are so many little coves that you can actually yes. find and just kind of make your make it your nest for the day, if you will. That yeah. pool is 800 gallons of fresh water, classified as the largest pool in the Caribbean. So it um, definitely has a large area, so it's never crowded. And no. do you remember seeing all of the, the umbrellas that were there and the different water loungers around yep. the edge of the pool? Yes. All of those were complimentary. So yep. no cost, you know, makes it really nice. You can take your group of friends or, or be isolated if you like and just enjoy your day there. And the unique thing about the pool is it runs about 4.5 feet deep. So that's the deepest that it'll, it, it runs, but at one end of it is a zero entry. Mm -hmm. So great for families um, to have their little ones and to spend their time entering the pool at that end. And I think you probably, uh, discovered the swim up bar, the DJ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You tell me about that. I'm oh, sure that that was so amazing. fun. Well, like I was saying, and like you just said, it, it, it's not a pool just for adults. It's not a pool just for families. Everyone can enjoy this pool. And on kind of one end is the pool bar and it's enormous. And those bartenders are fabulous and they mix up some great drinks. Um, and then in the, I think it was like the early afternoon, DJ came out and started playing music and people 
we're kind of dancing in the pool, kind of dancing, you know, right out of the pool with the DJ. I think um, some kind of bohemian, uh, it was like entertainment dancers came, there was a little bridge and yeah. they did sort of a traditional dance and it was definitely lively. They had the big beach ball, it was being thrown around. And uh, at one point, a bunch of my colleagues came in. I think they had just finished um, either an excursion or, or came from the water park and they all joined us. So now there was maybe 12, 15 of us and just going a tiny bit into one of those, like you said, kind of alcoves, like right around the corner and all the noise. I mean, you could still hear it, but it wasn't hard to hear each other and, um, and be crazy, but yet we could, you know, still kind of enjoy the music, but be off doing our own thing. And the families are still over on the other side where the zero entry and the kids are splashing around. So it's really something for everyone in that pool. It's just incredible. I think we should also mention that if you purchase the drink package on board the ship, which is the unlimited drink package, it does transfer over to Perfect Day Coco K as well. But we do offer the drinks a la carte. So whatever is your perfect day at, at Coco K, however you want to do it with the drinks or not having the drinks, it's okay as well. But yeah, it's um, it's really a lot of fun. That DJ just gets everybody going, and the Junkanoo dancers is what yes, you thank you. I can't remember that what they were called. Cool. Yeah, they get everybody and um, going and dancing. And, yeah, it's just <laughs> it's just contagious, isn't it? The it energy is. that it it yeah, it's amazing. It really love that a lot. Um, there are three different beaches over there because as you mentioned, some people might prefer to spend the day on the beach and we have mm -hmm. um, the Chill Beach, we have South Beach and we have Harbor Beach. Each of those beach areas are offer about a quarter of a mile of exclusive beach property. Um, and of course there's all the hammocks are available mm -hmm. over there. Great area for snorkeling or just uh, swinging under the palm trees and having <laughs> one of the Coco Locos, which is the yes. drink. Uh, the, over at Perfect yep. Day. Yeah, those are fun too. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. So so for our youngest guests at the island, we've got two distinct areas that they can enjoy that's absolutely complimentary for them. It's our Splash Away Bay and it's the Captain Jill's area. And it's the it's a whole area, imagine, of buckets that dump water mm -hmm. and spray pads and touch pads that spray and sprinkle and squirt and fountains. It's absolutely <laughs> amazing. There's slides over there as well. For the kids so those two areas are awesome for our youngest guests to enjoy their perfect day at coco k awesome we, did you get a chance to look at one of the newer areas that we just introduced a, well it's been a year ago already and it's the coco beach club it was just coming it was okay. it was we, i wasn't able to see it while while i was there it was it was about to be opened like in the next few months Yes. So for our guests that are looking for something a little more on a premium or upscale exclusive experience, we have the new Cocoa Beach Club. So this is, um, it's on the ocean front. There's an infinity pool that's about 2,600 square feet that faces the ocean. So you've got this beautiful club setting with this infinity pool, uh, plush and premium loungers. We do an upscale lunch there for our guests so that they might experience something like lobster, grouper, filet mignon, mm -hmm. um, really nice experience. I think that that capacity is about a 400 guest capacity. So it's you know a much quieter area um, for guests that might want to have that type of experience. And what's really great about that area as well is you might have seen in some of our pictures those overwater floating cabanas. So we have those like five, five different cabanas over at Perfect Day, and those are the ocean front cabanas or the over the water floating cabanas. Those include the entry into our Cocoa Beach Club. We also mm -hmm. have cabanas that are over by the Oasis Lagoon. We have some in the Thrill Park as well. So they all come with the attendant, um, the cabana attendant. And they'll bring you drinks throughout the day. They'll bring your lunch if you like them to. All of the cabanas have the outlets so that you could charge your phone. And I nice. should mention that our Zoom package, sorry, I would say Zoom and Boom. So our Boom <laughs> package is, uh, is also um, 
transferable over to the island. So if you have the internet package yes. on board the ship, you can have um, the capability to live stream or to share with your friends back home. What a great experience you're having and, and that they need to reach out to their travel advisors today <laughs> so that they can get their <laughs> next vacation um, while, while, they, while they're at home watching all the fun that, that you're having. We so did a lot. We did quite a bit of that while we were over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's so fun. It's so fun to take that live experience and really share it with your family and friends at home. Yeah, why they're back home. So Make we also jealous. we also should talk about food. Um, there's yes. lots of food options over and dining experiences there. So um, this is complimentary. We actually have three separate pavilions. We have a Skipper's Grill, a, a Chill Grill, and then we have the Snack Shacks. All complimentary. So you're your Skipper's Grill and Chill Grill is going to include very much like a barbecue lunch. Um, if you, did you have a chance to, to explore and, and to see the I'm options to, there? I'm trying to remember where I had lunch. It was very close to the pool, but I know it was some sort of a chicken sandwich that was <gasps> phenomenal. Yeah. And we had, I think waffle fries too. Yeah, yeah, you it, were at I, the Snack Shack. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, it was more than a <laughs> snack. It was a really delicious meal. So I should back up a little bit. The Opawata cabanas, the floating cabanas, we had a team of people that went all the way to Bora Bora to study the design of these floating cabanas. But when they were over in Bora Bora, Bora they also discovered these snack shacks are very popular around the island. So they brought, brought that concept back as ah, well to cool. Cocoa Beach or to the a perfect day. And so they have the sh shack burger, they have the fried chicken sandwiches, mm -hmm. they have the French fries, they have um, the, the cheese sticks, and then yes. they have a warm brownie caramel. Yes, burger. I'm like, what was that brownie someone <laughs> at my table got? And we all took a bite. Really yeah. Cool. Yeah, all complimentary. And the neat thing as well is we have the galleys all built in each of the food pavilions. So the food that's prepared over on Perfect Day is actually prepared right there that day. Mm -hmm. So if you remember back in the day when we used to tender over to the island, mm -hmm. we had to have early morning tenders that would bring the food partially cooked sure. over to the yeah. island and then they'd set it up. But now everything's prepared fresh and made fresh daily there. So over on the... Um, the grill side, you'll have barbecue, chicken, and burgers, and salads, and all types of fresh fruit. There's just endless supply uh, and choices and options. And they also have the self-served ice cream machine there. Who doesn't love a self-serve <laughs> ice cream machine? <laughs> so I hope you had lunch before we were talking today, because I think um, <laughs> if you didn't, we definitely made you ha um, hungry. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have a Captain Jack's, which is a bit of an upscale area too, that I want to talk a little bit about. They have, um, and that's right at the harbor. When you came in, you might have seen live bands playing. Um, it's really just a hangout for adults, but they do have a menu there that is a la carte. Um, and their specialty over there is chicken wings. So they do something like 20 different sauces, um, oh, cool. varieties of sauces for wings. So next time you're there, if you want to try that out as well, it's a great place to to try out a, a new I'll have to tell going. Rick, our um, our owner, Rick Howard, he loves wings. He's kind of a wing fanatic. So I'll have to make sure he knows yeah. next time we go. Yeah. So um, I think we kind of covered everything at, as a highlight, um, but it's really what you want to, what you want to make your perfect day to be. It's really your perfect day at Coco Cay. It really <laughs> is. I, I, I don't think anyone couldn't have a great day there. Um, it's bright and colorful. As soon as you dock and you look out your balcony and you see it, I, I was like, I cannot wait to get over there. It's just yeah. exciting. And, um, it's, it's really nice being just an extension of the ship. You, you know, you're not off in maybe, you know, a port that you're not familiar with, or you have to go and find your way around anywhere. So much like you were saying, the the wire or the Wi-Fi package, the drink package. There's so many food options that are complimentary. So anything you have on the ship, you pretty much have out there. Absolutely. And you know, the ship is just, it's docked right there. So if you did forget something or didn't need to run back, 
um, it's just, you know, you can jump on the shuttle or you can just run back to the ship and you're there, um, you know, for the full day. I think you said you did two a Tuesday stop, which is amazing. Yep. So you had two full days. Some of our itineraries do do a late night stay. So on those itineraries, you're going to experience fireworks at night, uh, the DJ again. Oh, that'd night, be cool. Um, and yeah, fire dancing. Um, so some really neat experiences on the late night stay options awesome. as well over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. It was really fun to chat with you. I always enjoy chatting with you. And thanks, um, thanks for walking us around. Absolutely. Perfect day, Coco okay, okay. Hope to see you over there soon. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.